If you want a tutorial on what celebrities are doing, this is what you want to hear. Everything was too much, the pressure is too high. and What goes on in the real lives of celebrities? Behind the fame. Hollywire is bringing you behind the fame. Hollywood Wire, what is going on? Hey. We got Mads Lewis hey, here. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> on Hollywood Behind the Fame. Yes. yes. We're stoked you're here. I've been watching your TikToks since I got a TikTok. Dang. Not too but have you ago. been watching but my Musical.ly's? Musical.ly? Oh, that was back in the oh, day. That oh, yeah. was. I was like, that's not... And Chicken Girls. Yes. Yes. And we were at a fan meet and greet. We were in line. We were waiting. Oh, you to were? Get, to get our <laughs> selfie with you while got you were on selfie. tour. <laughs> We're, we're just with Mads, and Mads educated us on something about yes. yawning. I love learning um, things. Yes. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah, he, tell us. <laughs> yeah, please tell us. So um, <laughs> I just said that if somebody yawns and you see them yawn and you don't yawn after they yawn, you're like proven to be a psychopath, I guess. So basically Mads yawned yes. and then Tony didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's a psychopath <laughs> in case you all were wondering. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> okay. So yes. we also, we work with a company called Cameo and are, uh -huh. I think, are you on Cameo also? Uh, I am. Awesome. So if you could get a shout out from any celebrity on Cameo, who would you get a shout out from? That might happen. We might make that happen. That's why. Probably, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Hannah. Probably like The Rock or Kevin Hart. That'd be awesome. I love that. I know I was just talking about Justin Bieber, but like I'm gonna meet him one day, like on my own. Like I'm gonna meet you, okay? Yeah. I believe in myself. Because The Rock, <laughs> would, I mean, uh, uh, Kevin Hart would give you a, a hilarious cameo. So oh, yeah. I don't know what it would I be. I feel like but both of them would. They They're sitting next would. to each other. Yeah. They'd be like, why are you in my video? Like that one video that they did? Yes. That'd be so funny. I love them. Their yeah. friendship is so epic. It's so adorable. Yeah. Okay, a good so one. we'll get one from both of them to send to oh, you. Oh, yeah. I really love that. Sounds good. We'll <laughs> call the cameo people. Yeah, and they both actually have TikToks. And they're TikTok. Oh, yeah. They're oh, yeah. They're TikTok. The Rock posted a TikTok and was like, best friend check. I was like, that's so cute. I love that so much. Wait, you have to show me. I want to see that. It was, I'll find it. It's so cute. I love when older people get into the new vibe. The new vibe. It's so cute. It's so cool. I love like the elderly too. Like that, like, you know, like the 80 year olds. Hate to bring it out there, the number, but well, like, you know what I mean. With like Rachel from Friends got on Instagram for the yes. first time. That was a big deal. So amazing. That, was that really is. She's and like, Ashley Tisdale, she's on TikTok. She oh, is yeah. she going is. at it. On she, TikTok. she really is. Justin Bieber's on TikTok. <laughs> he deserves I love it. To be that guy. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that. yummy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah. Do you like the song? Yeah, I actually do. I'm obsessed with it. I've I think heard a lot of people say they don't, and I was like, bye. Like, it's, it's so. Oh, good. I love it. I think it's like one of his best songs. Same. My favorite song he's ever done, actually. Where do we start? So ch you you were doing so much, and there's so much you want to do. Yes. Um, let's start with career. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So where I started was I started about five six years ago on Musically, and I kind of just did it for fun. And there was this like little sticker that popped up on it, like a video. It was called a feature, and it was like as if the app like liked your video, I guess, is how I took it. And I just kept getting featured, then I just kept gaining followers, which then I joined Instagram, my following became bigger on there. Then I moved to Brat Productions, which actually wasn't Brat when I started, we kind of just did shows for fun. And then Chicken Girls developed into a really huge show with the main characters, Annie LeBlanc. She is so sweet, she's like my best friend, little sister. And then Musical.ly transferred into TikTok, which is now what I do every single day of my life because it's just so fun and I love making my supporters feel happy and loved and that's what Musical.ly is or TikTok is and yeah, yeah. that's basically my life <laughs> no of course I was trying to explain TikTok last night to somebody and I was like you know Instagram is like social anxiety <laughs> literally so the, yeah and TikTok is just super in, just entertainment fun. It, it's so funny because like, there's no like social so anxiety I'm not like yeah. freaking out that they didn't look at my post, they didn't comment on my video. <laughs> right. You know, they unlike something. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I kinda, I kinda feel like musically was very like challenging and it was a it was just a challenge between everybody and oh this person got featured and oh I'm mad because they they didn't I didn't. And now TikTok, now that it's transferred, it's very much have fun, be who you are, like do whatever you want basically on the app and people will love you for who you are. And I like that a lot about TikTok. Totally. Now, um, did you do live videos? Did you ever do the live videos on Musically? Uh, like live like, movement. No live. Like you literally oh, stood there for live? like four hours. Oh on yeah, live. I went live all the four time. Four hours. People, people would, do that. People would longest. do that. People would do twenty four hour challenge. That's like crazy. Lives. And I'd be like, I can't do that. <laughs> Going live for twenty four hours. What's your record? What, what? What? Probably an hour. Mad's records an hour. Yeah, that's a long time still though to go live. That is kind I'd of. I'd be long like, all right. 
<laughs> I don't know what to do I here. remember my mom would go live. Like when I was in school, like in middle school, she would go live from like the moment I woke up till I was like done from school. And I'd be like, well, how do you go live for that one? She goes, I don't know. I just like talking to them. They're so cool. What? Yeah. And I was like, wait, like, on your, on my account. Yeah. Your mom went on your wow. account and then went live. Yeah. And my <laughs> username is maz.yo. I have no idea how I came up with that. So my like supporters would call my mom, mama yo. And I was like, oh wow, you need to create a musically. And then she never did. She just used my account. Your That's mom loved so it. Funny. She, she was did. Just on there she just really like did. chatting it up with the fans. Did yeah. the fan, I bet the fans loved your mom. Oh, of course. My mom's yeah. so cool. Aww. <laughs> Addison Ray's mom is also on TikTok. She Mom's is. Mom's on TikTok. Fun fact, her mom and my mom are the exact same person. Really? It's so crazy. Like, Addison's mom will say something to me, and I'm like, Mom, like, was that you? Like, what? <laughs> She's exactly like my mom. They both love TikTok. They both, like, love being in our lives, like, a lot, and, like, like managing our social medias and just, like, looking out for us, and I love that about them. Totally. They're like our best friends. <laughs> You've made, you had to have made, like, a ton of friends on this platform now. You guys yes, are all collaborating. Yes, so many um, people. Who are your besties? My besties. Well, of course, my boyfriend. <laughs> His name is Jaden Hostler. Um, I actually didn't, I actually knew of him through TikTok and Instagram, mm -hmm. but I met him at like my friend's house and I was just like, oh, hi. And then I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> but um, Did you film that moment on TikTok? <laughs> um, I honestly wish, oh, yeah, but I wasn't, gold. Like, I didn't gold. get it in time. The fans would have loved that. <laughs> I know, right? But my best friends, like honestly, all my friends are my best friends. I don't think I could single out just like totally. my best friends because I feel like that word's really like, oh, like you're not my best friend, but you are. So I kind of yeah. just don't use that word. But I love Addison Rae. Um, I love Bryce Hall. I love Josh Richards, love Anthony, Avani. Like I just love everybody. I'm a great person. You, you just know? named a lot of uh, I, a, a lot, lot of couples. Of oh, I did. Oh yeah, a lot of couples. Yeah. <laughs> Not to you know. Yeah, Josh and Spill Anthony. Spill the tea, no, Janet. Get right into it. Okay. Janet's trying I'm to get like, into the relationship. I'm really just trying to like get in the know of like this is all so I'm becoming so fascinated with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and now there's the hype house and the sway LA, sway LA, sway LA, sway LA, sway yes. LA house. Are you, which one are you in? Why is there two? Um, Who is in them? Um, I really, I don't want to put myself in one house or the other because, you know, they're both my friends and I just don't want to like pick sides or whatever because I feel like there's no such thing as sides. But <laughs> you just hit yourself. You hear yourself the mic? Just like, she was like so excited. She was like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, what can I be in? I want to be in the house. I feel like the Hype House and uh, the Sway LA House are kind of like the same thing. You know, it's just like a group of friends is trying to like, you know, build content together. And I just think it's really cool. Yeah, two gangs. Oh. Yeah. You know? They're about to fight. Civil War. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> TikTok Civil War, right? Yeah. We're going to the Sway LA House next week. And yes. Is, so Jaden will be there. Your boyfriend, yes, Jaden Hossler. He will. So you met him. Was this like an instant connection? People love you guys together. Um, I wouldn't say like an instant connection because we like talked for like two seconds, literally. <laughs> but then we were at my friend Bryce's house and he was there and we like had this long conversation. It just worked out really well. <laughs> and I went and met his family in Tennessee. Oh, wow. And then he asked me out and it was so nice. Wow. And yeah. now you guys are together. Yeah. TikTok couple. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool because the fans yeah. love this. Like, they, yeah, they do. You guys do dance videos together. You guys do little yeah. funny things together. Mm -hmm. Like, what what do you what do you what's your favorite thing to do together on TikTok? Definitely dance videos. Dance videos. Or being Ross and Rachel from Friends. I love those sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding cuz I yeah. I feel like I don't know why everybody says I look like Rachel like a young Rachel or I could like play their daughter Emma. I could see that. And I could see it. I don't know why, but I would I'd be so down to do that. <laughs> So what do you mean? You guys play Ross and Rachel yeah, on TikTok? Yeah, like we find sounds of them speaking and like I'm Rachel and he's Ross and it just kind of works together. That's so funny. Yeah. those I bet those like go viral, oh, I feel like. A little bit. <laughs> Were you a big Friends fan? Did you like grow yeah, up watching Friends? Yeah, I love Friends. Not as much as my sister does, but I do love it. <laughs> I have Everyone to give her credit. Loves, I've never met one person that doesn't like Friends. Do you like oh, Friends? Oh, I feel like love I've met friends. a couple. <laughs> I love that Friends. Show. I'm not just a psychopath. I love yeah. Friends. I was like, he wasn't like saying much, so I was like, does he love Friends? He's like, well, no. I'm more, I'm more interested like which yeah. one of you two came up with the concept. Mm, That's a good question. I don't know. Don't You can tell us the truth. We don't I care. Honestly, we won't tell him. Uh, me? <laughs> I did. I found right. the sound. I was like, let's do this. <clears throat> Sorry, Jaden, but I came up with it. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I did come up with it, yeah. No, of course. <laughs> you know, of course, because I feel like, like I, as a man, it's hard for me to like probably come up with something creative on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, whatever let's you want. Let's do it. Yeah. Whatever you want to come up with, let's do it, right? Do you come yeah. up with the ma majority of the dance routines? Um, who's, 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 who's like running the operation? Actually, I kind of feel like everybody on TikTok like does not come up with the dances. I feel like it's all Charlie. 
I'm gonna give her a big shout out. What? She comes she's an up, amazing dancer. She, uh, she really is, but she actually is a professional dancer. I right. currently have no rhythm. I wing it, and it looks good, low key. You kill it too. I thought you were a dancer. I asked <laughs> no. her when she came in here. I was like, I mean, I did ballet when I was like four, but like that doesn't really count because <laughs> I don't remember anything. But yeah, Charlie starts all the dances, and I copy her. I'm not gonna lie, I copy her. Do you get like an email from her every week? Like, yeah, this she's is, like, why'd you copy the, me? <laughs> this is the program. This is what you guys are going to be oh, doing. Yeah. You're going to be playing Definitely. Ross. You're going to be playing Rachel. Yeah, oh, like how is yeah. this organized though? <laughs> like you guys are obviously creating content every single mm-hmm. day, which is why I think TikTok is so incredible. But mm-hmm. like, how are you guys organizing this? Are you organizing it? I feel like we aren't organizing it. I feel like we just like find a sound that we want to do and we kind of just do it for fun. And like whenever we want to throughout the day. Totally. How long does it take you to learn the dances? Um... If it's really hard, which they usually are, probably like 10 minutes, <laughs> or I just quit, and I'm like, I can't do this. It's so hard. <laughs> I just look stupid. Um, but no. if it's just like the TikTok that we just did, and it's not like Renegade and stuff, like I think I might be able to do it in like five seconds. I'm like you. It took me. Addison came in here and tried to teach me to dance. And yeah, and Addison's in the air soon, dancer. and I'm really terrified, because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 like this doesn't else. look right. <laughs> Tony, you got to learn a TikTok can we, dance. Can you show me just a really quick three-step, two-step <laughs> yeah. type of uh, if TikTok? If I, I think, quick? okay, Charlie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I mess up Renegade, but I think you like Renegade. go for it. I'm going to move this. Like I'm going to give a shout yeah, out to yeah. my boy K-Camp right now. I love K-Camp. <laughs> okay. So you go like forward, and then you're going to move to the right or the left, and you're going to go like that. Yeah, oh, that's one. Oh, I do that all the time normally. Okay, wait. You're let's do like, it again. oh, there's a fly. Forward, left, this. Yeah, or forward, this. right. Yeah, so it's 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 Ready? forward, it goes one, arms two, crossed three. to no, the right. Wrong. You're already wrong. Okay. Forward, right, cross. cross. Yeah, arms have to be like this. Okay. Forward, okay. Okay. forward, left, rock, cross. There you go. <laughs> forward, right, rock, right. cross. Forward, rock, cross. I'm just yes. giving this for the listeners and out there. And you could go right or you could go left. What we're doing. It's true. Yes. Yeah, it was and then true. like the renegade, really like renegade, I, I renegade. Don't I think we I should really stupid. try to do this. <laughs> I really want to make. Don't take talk. lessons from me. I've, yeah. I've yet to make one. <laughs> yes, so. I don't even think I've done the renegade. Maybe I have. Okay, I, feel maybe, like I think so I've done it twice. Have. I feel like I've done it twice. No, you're good. You kill it. Like you really do. <laughs> Thank you. Like so all much. of you guys really <laughs> kill it. That means a lot. It's crazy. <laughs> we had the running man growing up. The Running Man. Do you remember The Running Man? Yeah, we like go like this, and it's like yeah, that one. Yep, and then we had the butterfly. What's what that? is that? The butterfly was. <laughs> I know, like the sprinkler, but I don't know if that's. Oh, like, the, bu- in your see the butterfly people are doing the audience. The butterflies oh. when you like take the legs and you go right to left and you just. I like, have to start you look that. Like wiggly. Yeah, redo the butterfly. Yeah, and, like, bring I'm like it back. the butterfly. And, and like yeah. the older yeah. audience, the moms will get it. The moms yeah. will be all about it. <laughs> Dang, I didn't. Even we know should that get Addison's mom to do it. <laughs> yeah, the moms she should start it. Yes, your mom, Addison's mom, do the butterfly on TikTok. That'd be so funny. Um, so let's talk more about acting after Chicken Girls. Like, what what are your goals? Like, what are your career goals with acting and, you know, kind so of beyond? So, one of my biggest acting goals is to be in a Disney Marvel movie. Um, so cool. I don't know why, but that's every the only time... That's you have? Well, it's one of my biggest ones. <laughs> that's a pretty big goal. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I just feel like Marvel is so cool, like, to have those powers and stuff. And, like, Iron Man is just, like, I can't. And Thor, oh, he's so hot. <laughs> um anyways so that's you not why i want to be, be in thor it. or or you want to i want to date, date thor, thor <laughs> but Same. we're not gonna do that um i'm a little too young but it's fine <laughs> but There'll yeah be another one. i really want to <laughs> be in a marvel be. movie because that's so cool or be the voice of a disney character oh, that, that would be, be cool. that would be amazing i would love that's to really do that. cool so are you auditioning now are you you know exploring certain opportunities that are coming to you um i'm not auditioning right now but hopefully in the near future like in a couple months i'll be starting to pick that up because i really do enjoy acting a lot amazing comedy okay. or drama both can you cry on cue um actually <laughs> it depends right now i don't know i'm looking at very like ah beautiful people so i don't wow, know if i can you. cry oh but we love compliments but like <laughs> right <laughs> definitely not the psychopath one <laughs> <laughs> but i i don't know if i can cry in command usually they use um like menthol and they put it under your eyes yes and then you like look in the sun and then you're like i'm crying and now i can't stop oh is that what they do i know really uh-huh. like, yeah they do that. put it right on your hands and as soon as you're about to go you're just going right there yeah you're like oh, yeah. oh wow and it just tears up I it know, honestly yeah. depends on the moment because in season three of chicken girls birdie which is my character name got into a car accident and my sister had to cry and Brooke had to cry and Annie had to cry so actually so did Indiana all four of them had to cry and they were standing around me and my sister was like I can't stop crying you you honestly look like I you look like I just lost my sister and and she couldn't stop so they didn't use any menthol on either of them 
I feel like if you like really think about it in your yeah. head, like losing someone or something oh, or whatever, I would, I would ball. <laughs> I could definitely cry. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. When I was in theater school, they <laughs> told go. us to put a, a tack in our fingers and just squeeze it. F that. And That's squeeze like, it. And squeeze Thank that. You. So if anybody chicken girls wants to use that tactic. Yeah. No right way. Ahead. Yeah. No. Okay. Don't do um, that. That'll hurt the nails. <laughs> talk about, let's talk about some more like onset offset moments with Annie and Indiana. You guys are like such a fun friend group. Everyone loves you guys. Yeah. You so know? Indiana is um, one of my best friends um, on chicken girls. She actually is my main best friend in the show. And off of that, I love her to pieces. She is like a sister to me. I could say older sister because, you know, she's like three months older than me, but that doesn't count. <laughs> <gasps> um, but Annie, she's like a little sister to me. She plays my real sister. She's not my real sister on the show, actually. My character actually doesn't like her, I guess. Like, we don't, oh, like, wow. cross battles at all. But she plays my real sister's best friend. And I think that's very cool, like, in, like, the, um show <laughs> like my little train of thought went away for a second <laughs> but outside of set me annie indiana my sister honestly the whole cast we have great moments we laugh all the time we actually went to disneyland about actually two years ago today oh wow um and that was one of the most funnest moments i've ever had with them it was so cool we like went vip and it was just like so many like supporters were stopping us and we like they ended up moving us to celebrity status oh wow which you like go like underground and like up escalators and we like, need to go to around. disneyland with maps yeah, yeah. guys <laughs> disneyland trip on me <laughs> celebrity <laughs> status it, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Okay. And then we just saw like all the characters like out of their like costumes and we were like, that's so cool. So like, cool. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to the celebrity status and the fans. Let's play a game. Yeah. What game we got here? Let's do it. Okay. Um let's do the six second challenge first. Yes, let's do the okay. six second challenge. What is the six second we challenge? We have some good ones this this round, this podcast. Six so. second challenge, you'll hear the buzzer first. And okay. then you start, and then the buzzer ends. Oh, you have six oh seconds gosh. to answer what... the questions. She's going to give you, like, uh, name five this things in your good. purse. You have to really quick oh, do it um... really quickly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm ready. And after okay, this, ready? you will I might win have a, brain a free fart. ride to Disneyland. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'd rather meet Eeyore, but it's cool. But I'm not even kidding. I have eight different stuffed animals of Eeyore on my back. Oh, really? I have, a, I have an obsession. That's kind of We'll talk like, about I this. I love you. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. Name the last three people you watched on TikTok. Uh, Charlie D'Amelio, Chase Hudson, and Addison Ray. She got under. Her. That was one. That was you good. Were. Okay. Ready? You're, you're one for one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two shows you binge watch. Uh, Shameless, Stranger Things. Dang. And yeah. I cried Two. in the last episode of Stranger Things. I gotta watch it. I watch Maybe it. So she hard. changes to the three second challenge. I, like I know she's, she's so good. Doing really good with this. Yeah, let's we're, like, we're gonna go to three second challenge. Oh my gosh, okay. no! What two for two or three for three here? Three for three. Not gonna lie, this said three before, and then I was like, someone messed that up. But yeah, yeah. Three anyways. second challenge, and you're three for three. <laughs> okay. No pressure, Mads. All right, Mads. Um, that one's easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Two places you really want to travel to. Go. Uh, Positano, Italy, and Paris. Jesus, she really just like knows that herself. That was the second you know? and a half. You were breaking records here. Okay, ready? Four for four. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Two of your biggest role models. Uh, I have no idea. That's ah, the one I. That's the one it. I literally. <laughs> got it. You are four got for five. Four for five. Got that was it. If I could I still answer that, to, I feel like that broke that. My two biggest role models would probably be Kevin Hart and. At literally any actress in the entire People world. People are loving Kevin Hart. I'm not even Hannah Maloche just was like raving about Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. I heard her talking. I was like, I agree. In the yes. Back. He is so funny. Yeah, he is hilarious. He's, yeah. he's just so His like funny. His great to listen on Spotify. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the fans. You were at Disneyland, right? Yes. Do you Did the fans, do they come up to you and are you just lines for selfies? Um, I wouldn't say like a line, but definitely a blob. But they know just, who like, you are when supporters. you're walking there. Yeah. That's a great place for you to go. I feel like yeah. I oh, feel yeah. like they all just knew us. They were like, oh my gosh, chicken girls, like the cast is here. That's so cool. And Aww. I love them. And also, just so you guys know, I do not call my supporters fans. Ooh. I noticed that. Ooh. I was gonna ask yes. for that. That's I never really call cool. them my fans because okay. I just feel like, you know, fan, ceiling fan. I don't know. It's just like <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> of course. My fan. Fan. Our fault. Thanks my for bad. being my fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? I call them supporters or they're like my family, they're my friends, you know, fans. I feel like it's like a Grace Vanderwall said the same thing. Mm -hmm. she, she did? Yeah, she called me out. Well, I agree with her. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Yeah, she told Stop me. Stop calling my supporters stealing fans. Stealing <laughs> fans. Wait, that's so funny. Literally, I've never heard though. someone like, yeah, like be worried about that, but that's a good point. Supporters. Yeah, supporters. we don't like the F word. 
Right. And we don't, uh, another F word is famous. We don't like that either. Well, this is called behind the fame. <laughs> it's just famous, Thanks. not famous, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, just fame. Yeah, behind the fame. Totally. Um, what is the craziest fan encounter? Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, supporter, my God. Supporter. What's supporter. The, Let's what's, try this. Let's yeah. see if we can keep this going. The <laughs> craziest supporter encounter you've ever had. I One that was really memorable to you, actually. It doesn't have to be. I think all of them are very memorable. You know, I would never actually really had, because I know I've, Speaking of Grace Manuel, I know she's had a supporter like walk up to her in the bathroom, oh, wow. and that I, to me that's wild. I'm like, I was just in the bathroom, and hey, it's just like you know pop out of nowhere. But I feel like all of them are memorable. I don't really have like a crazy one. Totally. Yeah. Okay, at the fan meet and greets or the mm-hmm. supporter meet and greets, mm-hmm. uh, uh, tell us like what are those like? When, if I were to go and, and, and wait in line and, 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 and hang out with you at a fan at a supporter meet and greet, what would that be like? <sighs> um. It depends. Some meet and greets are long. Some meet and greets are short, depending on how many people are there. Um, I really enjoy meeting my supporters in any way I can because I just love meeting them, you know, their family. Um, And I feel like every one of them should get to meet me. Um, But like I said, they're long, they're short. Sometimes it's hot. Like, you never know what's going to happen at a meet and greet. But you traveled to do this. You've you've done all over the country? Yeah, I did. Actually, not. Yeah, I did the United States. I did um, the West Coast and then the East Coast. Wow. We didn't do the middle, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get to it. That's next. We'll get to it. Yes. Next. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. That's amazing. I really um, enjoy it. How are you keeping up with the fans? Obviously, there's Instagram and now there's uh-huh. TikTok. Like, are you commenting back on TikTok? How are you really engaging with them? Supporters. So, supporters. Yeah, oh supporters. My, <laughs> are you doing again? I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're losing yeah, yeah, this mind. challenge. Uh, so to keep up with them, um, they all I see my supporters always post, you know, edits and stuff. And they have like, you know, their... Wow. Supporter pages. Um, but Is it called the supporter pages? No, they're called fan pages. But, you okay. know, we got to say they're supporter pages. They're confused, too. Yeah, they're confused. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm confused. I'm like, fan, and I'm like, um, I didn't mean that. Aww. But I like all their pictures. I usually like all their comments on my pictures. On TikTok, I like all their comments, at least the nice ones. Um, but, yeah, that's how I, you know, get to them, get to know them. Now, how do you handle the supporter negative comments yeah ignore it you ignore it yeah i could it kind of like a it boosts my self-esteem you know like i'm just like yeah thank you for calling me ugly it works i just feel like when people do that though it's like you just took the time to do that so you must actually like me right and some supporters they'll comment mean things because they if they see you comment back to a supporter who comments something rude Mm -hmm. they're like oh my gosh they respond so maybe if i comment something rude they'll answer and then i can just apologize and be like that was my mom like yeah i'm not kidding i've had a supporter say that was my dog and i'm like they're tricky sure that was my dog yeah i was like i believe you yeah your dog's mean we (laughs) just comment back smiley faces on mean comments definitely so have you ever gone down that rabbit hole and just started commenting on some support negative support um some people have gotten out of hand and yeah. i'm just like you know take the negative negativity somewhere else like oh, wow. i really don't appreciate that on my page uh-huh. and if some supporters if i follow a supporter usually for me they have to have uh, a thousand followers or more for me to follow them it, it sounds rude but it's like you know they need to take some time to grow just like me you know what i mean we've been like, waiting for you same. to follow us back Maddie. no we're waiting Matt. Matt's do you have a thousand followers I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> of course i'll follow you but if a supporter is um, being rude to another supporter, yeah. I will unfollow them because I don't like that. I think Aww. that's rude. Keep it positive. Yeah, yeah positive. We positive. love positivity. 100%. Always. We get the worst in our YouTube channel. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo. Boo. I love I mean, it, though. I, think it's I mean, mainly, though, <laughs> mostly it's, interesting. it's positive. We yeah. Get, but when we yes. do get bad comments, they're just really bad. And we're they're like, crazy. holy crap. Like, yeah, you're what? like, what? Yeah. It's like, I would never let, my mom would never let me do that. Why yeah. is this 85-year-old man yeah. in the interview? Like, it's like, dude, like, it's He's weird. a psychopath. Oh, I'm literally sorry. commenting we should back, comment like, that. have a great day. I'm like. We give them <laughs> smiley faces. No, we, I yeah. tell everybody to give them yeah. smiley faces. Yeah, give them a thumbs they up. They can't really do anything. And then we also reply really to Really confused. So we, we got them. We got yeah, them. and I also yeah. have like words blocked on my Instagram. Oh, really? You can do yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You so you can, can go that. into your Instagram and you can like, so like people body shaming you and stuff like that. Like you can block those words. So it's just not there. That is amazing. They can see it. Instagram's they can see like it that. as if they commented and they can keep commenting. But me and anybody else that follows me will not see it. I had no idea. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. So like I take curse words off and stuff like that. Instagram yeah. is doing really well with their, uh, yeah. uh, uh, like, advi- I don't even know what it's called, but when, uh, so for instance, if censorship. people have censorship, now people on Instagram, if you are a certain age and you have to look at something on some other page that you have to be a certain age and you have mm-hmm. to check, you have to check box how old you are. Yeah. Wow. That just opened up. That's yeah. crazy. That's, that's I'm amazing. I'm all for that. Me too. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I think we need to bring back relationship status on the Instagram. <laughs> oh just my like gosh. Facebook. Relationship Please status. Please no. Yes. No. It is getting no. confusing out there. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, we have to know who's dating who. Only they Tony. Only wants. Tony would want that, so you can be like in a relationship with so and so. You're my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Or for real though. We say like married. You know, that's I have to so say much like pressure. Married. Remember in the bios when it was like taken single. Right. Yeah. Exactly. What happened to that? I don't what know. To that? The date of when you started like, dating. Their initials with like a yeah. What a school ring. you went to? So dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's play this new game. Not new game. Old game. But uh, we don't know what to, what to call it. The DM challenge. The DM We're calling challenge. it the DM challenge. So, like. Okay, if you could, if you're gonna slide into uh, uh, any celebrity yes. you want, and it could be a friend of yours also, uh, and you're gonna leave them a voicemail on our Hollywire Instagram account. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay? no yeah, pressure. Yeah, it's like a surprise. No pressure. You know? <laughs> Not six seconds. Okay, so who who do you want to leave a voicemail to? Um, I don't know. So uh, let's see. <laughs> well, my two like the two people I love the most on social media is Shane Dawson and uh, Kian Lolly. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kian Lolly. Oh, yeah. Kian. <laughs> we you know Kian. Yeah. So like maybe we should like leave something to Kian. Definitely. <laughs> yes, I want to say ask hi. why he's been seeing our our comments and yeah. then like not responding. Yeah, Kian, here flex. we go. Oh my gosh, I have to leave the, something. You can say whatever you want though. You don't need to okay. say that. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna come over and we're gonna. Hey, Kian. It's Mads Lewis. I'm a huge fan. Um, I met you at VidCon about two years ago, and I'm at Hollywire, and I wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> that was perfect. That was great. You were and so composed. And you're so hot. <laughs> 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 Dang, you stopped it a little you too early. Put, you can put P.S. You're, you're hot. You're hot. Okay, P.S. Okay. Um, I also forgot to say one more thing. You're very attractive. I said hot earlier, but I just thought that was too in your face. But yeah. <laughs> He is really good looking. He's you know? so good looking. So and I straight think man, you. and he's like a really good looking dude. Oh my god! Right. I do a full fashion shoot. I was like, yo, look dang. At that guy. Sorry, Jaden, if you're hearing modeling. this, but Kian Lolly, you're very attractive. <laughs> right on. Okay, but let's I do love one, my boyfriend. Let's do yes. one more. We can do one to your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Let's, okay, do one let's, do, let's, yeah. let's do one to Jaden. Hey, Jaden, just called Kian Lolly hot in case you're wondering. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm at Hollywood right now. Obviously, you can tell because we're sending you a DM from their page. But I miss you, and I'll see you soon. Cute. Yeah, I'm seeing him after this. Awesome. So, so he lives in the sweat. Does he live yes. there? Okay, that's cool. That's so cool. See if yeah, they, they respond back friends. while we're like so chatting. Maybe that'd be really. Cool. That would be yeah. really cool. I really I like him. Do you guys think that happens? <laughs> He's so cute. He He's is. Really I, cute. I actually did meet him two years ago at VidCon, and I was like, "No way, that's Ken. Like, no way." And then he, I was like, <laughs> and like there was a big sign in the building we were like the hotel we were staying at, and I was like, "Don't ask for pictures." And I was oh, wow. like. I know this sign says don't ask for pictures, but can I get one? I was like, can I please just, you know, get a photo with you? And he was like, so sweet that you asked and didn't just do it. Yeah, of course. You're such, you're like, you're so sweet. And I was like, oh, Mm -hmm. so. He's so nice. And yes, I have the picture. That's awesome. So do you, is, are there any celebrities that you actually like get nervous around? Is there anybody you would freak out? Um, I mean, I definitely freak out on the inside, but I just feel like. I don't know. I, I definitely like the Jenners and the Kardashians. I right. think I look up to them. They're so cool. They're so beautiful. But I wouldn't really freak out. You know, like they're just like us. They're human. They totally. live their life. Why not? What the least I could say is no. If you were at dinner at Catch and Mrs. Bieber was in one corner and Selena Gomez was in the other corner, would you freak out? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I actually would. I love what how you put them do? together. Like, would that you? Happened. That really happened? Yeah, that happened. Did you not hear this? Uh-uh. Oh, girl. This happened. I only I only look at Justin Bieber. I don't look at the other two. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Respect. Yes. Yeah, no, that happened. I don't know what I would do. I, I don't know. Would you... Are you more of a Selena fan or a Haley fan? Um, Is that a fair I question? Like both. Both. I, like yeah, I support definitely. both. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, both of them we love the are amazing. Thing. Yeah, we, we do. We do. Yeah. We love I think all. both of them yeah. are amazing in their own ways. You know, she's a very good singer. She's a great totally. model. Like, I just feel like... Right. I love them both differently. Like, yeah. This isn't like yeah. the Sway House and the Hype House. No. We ain't hating on anybody. Let's talk about your family. So that's cool that you are a triplet. I am. That's rare. But still the baby. Yes. That's like Selena Gomez rare. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you for putting me in that level. <laughs> but it is. So you were the baby. Yes. Okay. So how does, I... What does it happen? Is like every second? How does, how does the baby, so, yeah. babies come so, with triplets? My sister, her name is Riley. She has brown eyes. She was born first. That's two minutes for me because I was born last. I have blue eyes and my brother is in the middle. Mm-hmm. His name is Dakota and he has green eyes. And we all have a freckle under our left eye. Oh, what? my gosh. Yeah. And all That's different crazy. colored eyes. Blue, have you, green, and brown. Have you guys all made TikToks together? Are you making content um, together? I actually separate? have never made a TikTok with both of them together. I actually have never made a TikTok with Riley, but I've made a TikTok with Dakota. But I've made a musically with them. I used to make music, yeah. musicallys with both of them. But 
Not Let's a take talk. it back to the beginning, though. Did your did your mom know she was gonna have triplets? Um, <laughs> like that's crazy. No, like, you're gonna she have didn't. triplets. No, I, yeah, you, I would be freaking no, out. My, yeah. When they were doing like the older sunset, they were like, "So there's one, <laughs> two, and three. And my dad goes three <laughs> at the same and time. My mom was, yeah, and, and, and he was like three, like not one. Like, are you sure there's three? And my mom was like, "Okay, three. Oh, she my wanted gosh. one, and she went ever since she was little. She was like, "I want a girl. This, this is gonna be her name. That, whatever." She got older, I have three. All in one batch. Yeah. I feel like if you and want. our names weren't supposed to be Riley Dakota Madison, it was supposed to be like Taylor Brooke and like oh wow something else. I have no idea. I feel like your mom got everything she ever wanted just with that. Yeah, because like yeah. every like my sister just had kids. Mm -hmm. She's so happy because they're first were girls. <laughs> and then they finally got the boy. Yeah. Right. But it's nice because when you're having like triplets or twins, it's like, oh, I'm done now. Like, you know, you're that's just all you said. said. Too. Just, I was like, why did you Sign never? Up, I was right? like, yeah. I was like, happy. Right. We were like, I'm we scared. want a little sibling. Like, why, why, why didn't you? And she was like, no, no. three is enough. Three yeah. is fine. I was like, I got three good kids. I'm fine. You know Aww. what I mean? Definitely. And that's I was amazing. like, and she always says how like we were really good babies. Like we, didn't, we never cried. And like when we walked in a store, we didn't touch anything. Like, I don't know what happened. I'm reckless now, but. <laughs> so do you have like triplet no. like powers? Do you, all, do you guys yeah, they all say um, twins have powers? We like to pretend, but no, we don't. No, no, no. So no, you no. don't have like twin telepathy. You know how you can like feel sometimes the other twin. You can like feel mm -hmm. when they're sad or emotional. You don't know where they are right now. No, okay. no. Oh wow. I'm sure my sister's in her room, and I'm sure my brother's at work. Do you but... think that they have it and they just didn't tell you about it? <laughs> Actually, I I wish I did. I wish she like I wish I could pinch myself right now and she'd be like, oh, like mads, but like that's, that's not so a thing. So. Now, Riley, she's also in the entertainment industry. Yes. She is. She okay. is actually on Chin Girls with me. Like I said, she plays Quinn, um, Annie's best friend. That's so cool. So yeah. cool. My brother wants to get into it, but he just hasn't, you know, had the time to do it. He works at a cafe by my house. Oh, that's cool. What, yeah. what are his passions? What, is he, what does he, like, want to do in life? Um, I honestly don't know. He's very good at drawing. Like, okay. he oh, cool. can paint like Bob Ross. Like, it's so good. Wow. I don't know if I'm just hyping him, <laughs> hyping him up too much because he's my brother, but I think he's an amazing artist. He's very talented. He's a very talented dancer. He's the, literally the only one out of my entire family that can dance. Wow, oh, that's wow. cool. <laughs> that's TikTok, awesome. He's does he have right? a TikTok? Uh, he has a musically. It has like, well, he does have a TikTok now, but it has like three old. He's a professional on it. dancer. That's amazing. Jana. He's a new <laughs> yeah. TikTok. Right. <laughs> But yeah, I think he should start TikTok. I think he's so funny and he's so Aww. adorable and I think he's a really good dancer. So it's so cute you're talking about your siblings like this. I love my siblings but and if anybody can, ever does anything, I'll be you You can up. draw also. Uh, kind of, yeah. I saw some Instagrams. You were like uh, yes, drawing. A video of me drawing, yeah. That's, I like to paint, I like to draw, but I definitely think my sister and my brother have more of the skill of doing that. Of doing that. Yeah. My sister's good at painting too. <laughs> That's yeah. my. You're like, you, you can do it all, truly. She can... Dance on TikTok. She can act. You can draw. You love I just your need siblings. to learn to sing. That's all I need to do. I mean, don't we all wish we could sing? Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, we sing in the car, sing in the shower. Same thing. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, it's our chill. shampoo bottles are our audience. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> Mads, um, you're, you're awesome. Let's, Thank you. Let's, let's go out let's on go the, uh, the, the rock renegade thing. How we do it? How, how does it go? Oh, we're so all going to dance? Go, yeah, we're all going to okay, go Okay, got it. Okay. So you kay. go forward. Forward. Left. Rock. Ross. Yep. What's forward. the next move? So it? I don't I don't know. You kind of can put any dance move together so you can go forward, rock, and then whoop. Okay, guys, you can bye. Like we're going to be, we're, we're be renegading on the way <laughs> out yeah, here. Yeah, renegade. renegade. Yeah, I don't know the song. But you can kind of like roll yeah. your arms and stuff. Yeah, what's that one? Oh, That's and the, the whoa. Do you guys know what the whoa is? Uh, the whoa, yeah. You kind of go like I, inv that. I invented the whoa. I just want to let you know that. Yeah. Okay, so I don't he invented the whoa, guys. No, I swear to you. I knew he was going to say that right I invented the whoa, like, Long time ago. Long, yeah, but yeah. You're nobody, amazing. Nobody knew. Thank you so Mads, much. you're awesome. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Sarah, you guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.